Carol, you ready? Let's go. Good boy. Come. Sit. We're just trying to show you that we're doing some obedience commands. <gasps> it's good. Good. good sit. No, you need to sit. I know. You didn't like that. Just gave him a little tiny pop for trying to go over and pester my dog Zoe, who's just sitting quietly over there right now. Harold, let's go. Oh, sorry, bud. Ready? Harold, leave it. Sit. Nope. Sit. So I'm going to give him some pressure just from walking into his space using my body. That's it. Give him a tiny pop. Uh -uh. Sit. Sit. There you go. Sit. Good. Good sit, buddy. You no, know, it's pretty sad when all your friends are in the other room. Uh uh. Sit. Good. That was good. You're doing so well, buddy. You were so good. Ah! Uh -uh. Nope. So I'm trying to just create some distance between him and myself. I hear you. I have a feeling that's going to be the hardest. So I'm. Giving him all, a lot of slack of the leash, and I'm just slowly going around him. Okay! <gasps> Yay, buddy! You held it! Um, holding it I, and like holding a sit and not moving, and um, let's go, Harold. Leave it. Nope, leave it. So he doesn't like you. <laughs> like, I already know this. Um, Thanks. But holding sits is really difficult for dogs like Harold because they really need, they feel like they need to be with you at all times. Um, or at least that's been my sort of how I've been feeling with Harold. Um, all right. So let's try to get you on, on place. Let's go, bud. <gasps> Yay! It's all scary and raised up, isn't it? But you did it. You did it, buddy. Um, and so that's kind of what we're, where we're at for now today. Um, hopefully I'll be able to introduce him to down and then next week we can actually go work outside. Big scary outdoors. All right, say goodbye, Harold.